pelvis. In this video lesson, you will discover the major characteristics of a human pelvis and its anatomical construction. The Latin term pelvis means basin. I will make a quick sketch depicting its main features. In a way, it does resemble a basin. It has a vertical axis of symmetry. I start by drawing top and bottom ovals to indicate its round shape. The small oval at the top indicates where the sacrum is connected to the spinal column. The major bone of the hip is called the ilium. The horizontal line that goes through the pubis, or the pubic bone, is actually the anatomical center of the body. This line divides the human body in half from the top of the cranium to the bottom of the feet. This axis also indicates the location of the hip joint. Here, you can see the characteristic five-sided shape, which is based on the four bumps of the iliac crest and the middle of the pubic bone. In the front view, the lower points of the sitting bones are just below the back bumps of the iliac crest. There are some differences between a male and female pelvis. For example, in a male pelvis, the angle between the ischium bones is about 75 degrees. However, in a female pelvis, this angle is wider. Here, I will make a sketch of a female pelvis. As you can see in the female pelvis, the angle is between 90 and 100 degrees. The top ridge of the ilium bone is called the iliac crest. Four bumps of the crest are indicated in this location. As you can see, the five dots of the pentagram are not on the same level. The dot located in the middle of the pubic bone is situated on a lower plane than the other dots and resembles a downward staircase. The hip joint socket is located on the same level as the pubic bone. As you remember, that level is the center of the human body. It divides the height of the body in half. This is another quick sketch that shows the shapes of the pelvis. Here is the side view of the pelvis.